Story of Goddess Tefnut and God Shu. Once Ra spit and the spittle he spit created the goddess Tefnut, and the breath that pushed the saliva out created the god Shu. Products from my new mouth, my new lungs. So now there were three of them, three separate gods from the vast nun water tank. It seems like a great, strong, even unbeatable trio. Turning your backs together, you can face everything right away. Spinning together, you can explore all three dimensions simultaneously. Even though there was no music or color yet, Ra felt that the three of them had certain abilities that I didn't immediately understand. But more than that, God Ra feels life is more interesting, everything becomes important, and being a father is wonderful. Ra finds joy in creation. God found joy in the creation of his daughter and son. That's a good start. Shu and Tefnut, two very playful gods, kept playing all the time. They chased each other, rushed at each other and wrestled. They rolled around and punched each other. They were like lion cubs, and Ra was like a big, patient father lion full of contentment as they played with their tails or stroked their manes, though of course there were no lions. There were only Shu, Tefnut and Ra, and the vast waters of Nun that spread aimlessly throughout the land of the three gods. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.